Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? How are my loves doing out there? Oh, my mug is really beats like yes, for the So today, guys, the video, if you guys not could tell by the title, that I'm doing uh how to get a blended eyeshadow. Uh, my friend Isabel wanted me to do this video, so I will do this video to show you guys how to get a nice flawless eyeshadow. So without further ado, let's get started. So first we are going to, I don't know why, I feel like I'm in a singing mood, I don't know. But, so first we're going to go in with the Kylie Aurora Peach Palette. And um, the brushes that I'm going to mainly use with this eye tutorial how to get a blended base look is mainly these four. One, two, three, five. I cannot count. So the first shade I am going to dip into. I already prepped my eyes. I did a uh, Tarte Shape Tape concealer and I did an airspun uh, powder to set them. And I'm going to again set them by the reason why I go in with the cool tone shade is to kind of match my skin tone. But I'm going to go in with this cool cool tone shade in which is called Sandy. And the reason why I do two powders for my eyeshadow is one, I find out that it comes out more smoother. You can get that more like flawless look. So basically what you do is like in every other video, video that I do is I like take this, I take, which is Sandy, I take like a fluffy brush and I just do this all over to get like I don't know if you can see it and I kind of buff out the edges so y'all can see so I'm going to do my left your guys is right um off I'm gonna do it and then I'm gonna do like a fast forward motion so you guys can see again so the first shade I'm going to go in is with I believe this is peaches which is a peachy color and I'm going to go that with that in um, a small fluffy brush you guys see me use this all the time it's my go-to brush at this moment and <clears throat> we are going to I'm gonna use the palette mirror so I'm going to I'm gonna have the light facing towards me I'm sorry if I look too white to you guys like okay guys I'm so sorry like if I look too white but I want you guys to see the full effect of me using this eyeshadow and showing you guys how I do it and how to get a blended base so I'm going to start from my inner corner right here where I just dotted right there and I'm going to stop right here and I'm kind of fade that in so I'm just going to just start Applying this eyeshadow, which is called Peaches, if you guys did not hear the first time, and I'm just going to keep applying it so it should look like this and kind of in your crease if you have one. I don't really. So, and then you kind of want to blend it up a little bit more to like if you have like hooded eyes, like like me, when you close your eyes, you can still see the color. So I just bada bing bada boom, you know? And I'm gonna do the other eye. So once you see that they're kind of even where they fade out, which I'm touching up on now, uh, then you can move on. So it should look a little something like this. And after I do that, I'm gonna take my Morphe Y4 16, Y16, and I'm gonna buff out the edges to get like a more flawless look. So all I'm doing is just like going around the edges and like buffing this out, just a little bit, tiny bit. And after that, I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna dip into cinnamon, cinnamon. It's like a brown with like a little red tone to it you see it's very pigmented this palette is really pigmented and very buildable so I'm going to start where um, peaches fades out and I'm going to just um, blend that out and I'm gonna stop 
to like where my brow goes down where it arches. And I'm just going to work this into the crease, my crease, because I really don't have one. I have the kind of great one. So right here and also where my actual crease is hidden away in the cave somewhere. And it should look a little something like this. And you want to kind of actually get that true tone color and don't worry if like you see like a little bit we're gonna go back with later if like this if cinnamon goes over a little bit to peaches we're gonna fix that in a minute and I'm gonna do the other eye in fast motion So going in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Androgyny Palette, I am going to, you see my busted mirror, I accidentally stepped on it, trying not to step on it. It didn't work out. So I'm going to dip in uh, Dominatrix, oh, ever so slightly, and Fetish, and mix these two shades, because I want like a brown, kind of red um, outer part. I don't know how I'm gonna look in this section right here. And I'm just going to go from the, where the, again, where it fades out to the end right here and kinda, kinda wing it out a little bit. But um, be careful not to get too, too, too much product. And we're just gonna, yeah, I can't use this mirror. I'm sorry if like, if you see like, <laughs> you see my palette right there? You're not supposed to see that. So I'm going to just do this. Oh, this is looking so good. Uh, in this eye, I kind of always tend up to mess up. I don't know why. I just do, and, it's, and it irritates me sometimes. So this eye usually kind of takes longer. Oh, this is very fall. Now, since this is, sorry. If this is in the way, I am so sorry. My, I don't know, I, I, I'm just all over the place today. So I'm going to take my ColourPop Eye Blending Brush and I'm just going to start from where we started and kind of blend out like this to the shadows. And then a little bit like just kind of blending it more because blending is key and it looks more flawless. So I just do that a little bit because I kind of always blend out as I go. So I'm just basically gonna do what I did to my top part of my eye, to my bottom, and let me give you guys a close up because this is looking really good. Don't mind my pimple on my eye, I don't know why it's there. But we got a little peach into a little bit of orange, kinda, a little bit, just a little bit. Woo, this light is so bright. And then we got a little bit of red mixed with brown. This turned out to like, this turned out to what I envisioned as it to be. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna um, fast forward into doing my lower lash line. I'm just gonna go in the same order. Peaches right here and cinnamon right here in the middle and then dominatrix and fetish um, towards the end. And we're gonna blend up here and kind of create, not like a wing, but kind of like a cut. You know how people um, do tips and tricks with like tape or whatever? We're basically gonna do that, but we're not gonna use tape. So, here we go! So next, um, I'm going to, I kind of want to do um, a halo eye, so that's what I'm going to do. I am going to take a packer brush, if I can at least find one. Okay, I found one. I'm going to take this e.l.f. packer brush, it's kind of dirty, but we'll be fine. I'm going to take Deja Vu from the Jeffree Star Cosmetic Hydrogeny Palette, and I'm going to... Pack this on there, cause this is going to be blinding. And I'm going to spray this with Fix Plus. Oop, wrong way. There we go. I'm going to soak 
it and I'm and um when you do this you kind of want to be careful and tilt your head like downwards but I can always do up because it's a habit but this will be fine because his shadows are not like really as much fallout so I'm not really tripping so with this you want to really pack it on there and then as you go up I go up to kind of create like a little crease Ooh, that looks so good and Deja Vu is like a reddish brown like a reddish you know like a brick color like kind of like penny kind of like this color and like in liquid form uh, penny from the Bella Chicks Cosmetics glow getters um so oh my gosh this is so oh uh, yes oh oh now I'm going to go back with my white 16 brush and I'm going to blend out the edges so it won't be as harsh going to do a little halo eye and I'm going to dip into I'm gonna grab um, the same pencil brush that I put down with the um, under eye and I'm going to dip into a frosting and I love this color like oh girl frosting and then I'm going to spray the bite thing with fix plus and if you don't have fix plus just do a little bit of water and girl you fine uh, and I'm going to place this in the middle of my eye. I want to pack it on there. Oh, let me come on now. I want to pack it on there. Ooh, there we go. There we go. And then blend out the edges. So it'll be like a big blob of like a yellowish gold. You see that? It's a girl. Like that looks so good. Oh. Let me do the other eye. I'm so excited. So at the end, it should look like this, like, mm, ow, grr, hit, hit. So now I am going to kind of mix colors. I'm going to take, I'm going to take, I'm gonna dip into Queen Bee and Frosting and mix those two. For the inner corner, I'm just gonna dip into both. And I'm just going to um, do the inner corner and brow bone to get that blinding effect. And if you get some like in like your crease, like right here, if it drops down, just brush it away. Brush it away. Like all the boys in your life that don't want to leave you alone. Brush them away. It should look like this. Very snatched and very like, you know, and this pimple on my eye is getting on my nerves. So now I'm going to put on my lashes and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and put on my light lashes so you can actually see the eye look. And I love this eye look. I really, really do. This is a nice fall. This is very fall to me. Like fall extravaganza. Now I'm going to put on a highlighter and I bought a new highlighter. Not call it a collection, but first I'm going to go in with my base. Always go to. Um, the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Dark Horse. Dark Horse is so blinding and very my skin tone. So that's why I love it. He needed to make more shades like this, but like, you know, more for dark skin people. Um, so Jeffree, if you're watching this, please make more because I love your stuff. So I'm just going to apply this and then I'll be right back for the holiday collection with MAC. And let me tell you the packaging on there. I live, I die, I breathe, and I resurrect for the highlighter. So the packaging for the highlighter is this, and it's like, oh my god, it's like gold flakes, but it's like cracked up. I don't understand it, but I really love it. Like, like guys, this is a blinding. It's upside down. I'm sorry. This is a blinding. Good. It's a little imprint of a snowflake. Oh my gosh. You guys. Look at that. So pretty. It's like a kind of, it looks like a dual chrome yellow. But let's do it. And it comes like a little mirror. Like, oh my God, you can see myself recording. <laughs> so I'm going to, I usually just do this. And I, um usually do no fix plus with this one because 
as you can see it like changed like the look <laughs> like yes and I'm not gonna add like a third highlighter because I kind of like this golden look um, with this golden eye already so it looks good AF like AF 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 like I'm feeling myself AF oh my gosh you guys and then so now it's on the Liberty Doodahs no I'm kidding it <laughs> does James Charles and I love him so now I'm going to go in I am going to go in with the lip scrub um pink syrup from the Jeffree Star Family Collection. It's still out there, so I will link this down below. And so I'm going to do a lip combo with the two Jeffree Star Family Collection in the shade Delicious and Baby Daddy. And I'm going to basically lip line my lips with this, like a purple, and this is like Unposh Spice Toned Down Nude. I'm gonna see how this works. Now you know what, I'm changing my mind. All time fave, family jewels from the Chrome Collection, Summer Chrome Collection. And I just find that purple was looking too purple than I thought it would be. So I'm going to align this and then, yeah. And I'm going to go in from, I already said Baby Daddy from the Family Collection. And I'm going to only take a little bit. And I'm going to dot this in the middle and then ombre it. You know what I realized? Jeffree Star needs to come out, come out with uh, lip liners. I think that'll be good. But you don't need lip liners with his his products, cause it's good. So this is the final look. Ooh, I'm looking hella good. Like, let me step back. Hold up. Wait a minute. It's like a second. And all I need is a little bit of Fix Plus, and we're all set. This lip combo, though. Hey, guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys do enjoy this. I kind of went a little bit too ham on my highlighter. Like, I brought it down here. Like, just a little bit on this side. But, you can have out too much highlighter, but you just got to put them in the right places. Okay, but, I mean, it still doesn't look that bad. But, otherwise than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys learned something and like this eye tutorial. Um, if you guys do, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And, yeah. And I may also have another giveaway coming up in December for Christmas. I may or may not. So, just watch out for my channel for that. And, without further ado, thank you guys so much for... Oh! I also got from the um, Christmas collection from MAC one of their lipsticks. And it is so beautiful. Like, I created my own lip combo with it. And, girl, this is the color. Like, let me show you on the back of my hand. Like, when I tell you this color is good. It is good. Ooh, yes. Like, ooh. Okay. But, um, let me know if you guys want to see a, um... And how to get like a nice highlighter, like a blended eye uh, highlighter. Um, I'll be glad to show you guys. And yeah, without further ado, again, I always say that every, I keep repeating myself. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you guys on my next one and I love you. Bye.